Hey, welcome back to Florida Keys Life. I'm Reagan. I'm Haley. And I'm Jason. Um, today we're going to be going up to um, Alligator Farm. Everglades the Everglades Alligator, Alligator Farm. Farm. Um, it's in Homestead. They got a pretty cool airboat ride and a bunch of gators and some crocodiles, saltwater crocs. Um, so come along with us as we show you um, around the park. Come along with us on our drive up the Keys and enjoy the beautiful scenery. Glades Alligator Farm. decisions to get too close to these animals. So I'm going to throw in the first piece of food and I want you to learn from watching them eat. The alligators only responded when the food hit the floor. That tells you the alligators respond more to the things they hear than the things that they see. And what am I feeding? Chicken. Yeah, chicken legs. Okay? Delicious. Now, I'm going to throw the next piece of chicken in the water. Is this going to make more noise than it did on land? Yeah, because water is loud and obnoxious, like my entire gosh darn family. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Here we go. Yeah, a much bigger response from a lot more gators. And that is because water makes a lot of noise, so gators are better at hunting in the water. They're undoubtedly more dangerous to you and than anything else in the water. Now, I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to feed some of them by hand. I'm not going all the way in. I'm just getting in between the fences, so don't get too excited. There we go. Now, remember, feeding alligators is stupid and reckless, so take lots of pictures. I am a trained professional. Do not try this at home. Oh, boy. Come on, all, all the way up. Whoa! Very nice, very nice. Now, an alligator that's being fed by people thinks of all humans as food. We're like a refrigerator that's made of food now. So that's why you can never feed a gator and expect it to respect you or love you. I'm hoping for a good shot. Oh, you heard that bone just... Just crackle and pop. Ugh. Yeah, if you think that's gross, you should hear them eat a turtle. Oh, my God. It's like listening to a, a person eat an entire bag of chips in the library. Now, 
I'm going to throw the next piece of food again in the water to remind you guys where the gators are really best at hunting. Okay? They don't stop to think. They just act. And that's why they're dangerous. Okay? If you have people in your life that act rashly before thinking things through, you should rethink that relationship. You're welcome. Okay? Now, alligators are powerful enough to hurt anybody, but they run away from people on land. They're scared of you. Okay? So as long as you're not doing anything crazy, you're going to be safe. If you want to go hiking, if you want to go kayaking in the Everglades, you're going to be fine. The only thing is don't swim in the water. The kayak looks like a big animal. The canoe looks like a big animal. The paddleboard looks like a big animal. Okay? So the gators will leave that alone. But when you're swimming by yourself in the Everglades, the alligator will see your head and think that it's like a turtle or a duck or something. And then come up and try to get an easy meal. That is why they don't eat people. They're strong enough to, but they don't need to. They use their strength for what? Impressing the ladies. Nothing wrong with that. Welcome to Miami. Okay? behind this. Yeah, there's littler gators over here. It's a dead gator. Oh yeah, cannibals. Yeah, savages. This guy's wanting a piece. Dead gator. Gator carcasses, two are fighting over it and they just pulled it back into the water. Do it again. Touch him, he doesn't care. 
but he will go out of his way to chase me. The female does not chase me at all. Okay? But when I go to touch her, she's extremely defensive. Why? Because when she has babies, where do they hang out? Right there, right next to her. Okay? So her whole life she's gearing up to be proper defensive, like a little ninja to keep those babies safe. She's not really aware of that, but that's what she's doing. She's training herself her whole life to defend her own personal space. Now, that's why she's actually the more dangerous one for me to handle, even though he does try to come up to me and bite my legs sometimes. But when the alligators do chase after me, I will slam their mouth shut and stare them down. Okay? So I'm nice to them, but they both know if they want to kill me, they get a freaking burn it like everybody else. <laughs> Welcome to America. Okay? <laughs> He did say that there's like four of them, I think. Look at that. He just picked it up. This is letting them care for Holy biscuits. <laughs> you want to try that, Nathan? Yeah. <laughs> Keeping the gator's mouth closed is actually a lot easier than you might think. Alligators, I mean, it's still risky anyway, but alligators don't have a lot of power to open the mouth. They have all the power to close. So, someone has to come in and tie up the mouth of the alligator. Who's that going to be? <laughs> since we did not get any, since we did not get any volunteers, I'm going to show you guys how the young men would do it by themselves if they wanted to impress the father and show him, hey, Dad, look, I can actually provide for the family as well. By yourself, it was kind of like an ego thing, but it was very important passage to manhood, and I'm going to show you that right now. Check it out. Thank you. <laughs> Clap for him. Clap for him. Clap for him. Now, what? Please don't try to copy this stuff. Now, let's finish your show. If you did enjoy my show on your way out, we got that little tip jar. Show your appreciation. I greatly appreciate it. Here we go, guys. This is called the face up. Move around and try to fight. I'm just going to let him get comfortable. What if his beard gets stuck? Unless he can move around. That's enough of that, guys. Let's try to look at the Look at Dad, he's taking a picture. Hang on, it's a train wreck. Yes. Okay. There you go, buddy. Pass it off. Hey guys, if you look to your immediate left, there's a wild gator laying in the grass right here next to the boat. You have to keep in mind that none of the animals out here on the boat ride have anything to do with this farm. Um, everything out here is a wild animal, and they're right where they belong, out here in the Florida glades. And that over there to the right, well, that's a real plastic alligator. <laughs> the iguana lizard on top is alive and real, and there's a whole group of them here to the left in all these tree branches right next to us. The big orange ones like that are the males. All the green ones huge. around them are the females. Iguanas can hold their breath for up to 28 minutes, and they are fantastic swimmers.
you think, Regs? You soaked? Yeah. Ethan, you soaked? Yeah, I, I need <laughs> underwear. <laughs> I need underwear.